Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another Banner Reaction. I'm DTM, as always, and I have with me a very special guest. Why don't you introduce yourself, BA Radiant Dawn? Good day, everybody. This is BA Radiant Dawn, and holy heck, am I excited about this banner. <laughs> yes, I think you're like one of the one of the people that are definitely excited for it. Um, yeah, judging from the silhouettes, there is a good chance we have... Um, Someone from Sacred Stones and potentially someone from Three Hopes, right? Yeah, because I think the left one looked a lot like female Shez and the right looked a lot like uh, Lara Shell. And if mm -hmm. it's female Shez, I'm excited for the 1% chance that it's Three <laughs> Hopes happy, baby. I doubt yes. it. I, I would like cry on your in your video. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. I, I Everyone's been speculating Shez on the left. I, it would be super, super funny if it wasn't actually Shez, and it was just like someone with like a floral pin or something like that. Whoa. Someone wearing like a like a floral like a pin. Thing. Yeah, um, but you know, there's a good chance it will be Shez. So I guess we'll see. Um, but yeah, let us begin. As always, if you like the content, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, all that jazz to help support the channel. Only takes five seconds to subscribe, but it truly does help with this channel a lot. And make sure to subscribe to Bay Radiance John Dawn's channel as well. The link will be in the description. And yeah, let us begin. Also, uh, I think there's like some background noise on your end. <laughs> yeah, we're okay. Making a big splash. This is the awakening um, summer theme. So I don't think we'll get like the uh Okay, it is Shaz. That is totally Shaz. Wait. Oh, oh. gotta say that means I have information. Okay. Move Consider me Whoa, what is that sword? That sword looks really cool. Their first fire. Tier four lull skills. Oh no. Time to ride that way. Wait, I yeah. wanna know what that does. He has the A slot from Legendary Shaz. Hey, there's Ephra. We were actually talking about this beforehand. Oh my god, about... I was right! Yeah! Was right. Wait, we were like... Demo? No, he's not the demote. Um, no. we were... Axe Cav. Oh my god, I'm so excited! Yeah, we were talking about how, like, the last summer banner... Like, where was Ephraim dev? He was just a little bit late, I guess. <laughs> and he's got an alarm, too. Very nice. Hmm... Dude, I was right! What does I that called do? it! I'm very excited. Huh. Okay, yeah, I wanna- so a... There's Laura Shell. Uh, oh, Laura, Laura Shell is, cool. is the demote. Wow, I did not see that one coming. I did not but, like, either. You should have a preferred weapon, right? Oh, well, she's uh, fast. Uh, she I might. think might. I, 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 nope, oh, it's nope. inheritable. Never mind. <laughs> oh, 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 Rip. But it looks like a really good staff. I mean, I guess. But staffs. Oh I, 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 I read some effects. So who's a harmonized? Who is it gonna be? Whoa! It what? is Shamir oh my God, and Catherine. Shamir? Wait, who's the lead? Oh, oh my God! Wait, is this a, okay, it's Shamir and the lead. Yeah, this is duo. I thought it was gonna be harmonized. I guess not. Isn't this nice? Wait, I'll take it. Uh, I I Get see extra together. movement on there. I saw like. A post Brash Assault 4. Brash Assault 4? Oh god, okay, I they... remember the last time that skill was used. I know. <laughs> they only need to like do some heavy lifting for that one. <laughs> I, I forgot that skill was a thing. No one uses it. Is that a cav? Uh, Inflicts in gravity, gravity on foes in cardinal direction of unit and feud, feud on... F Ooh, feud. That could be interesting. Ooh, that's spicy. Garden feud? Oh wow, that's a big gradient. Holy. Yeah. That's like a whole map. Dude. Okay, so... Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait till this is done because once it Keep rolls out, I got to okay. It is a calf. I thought it was a flying for whatever reason. Okay, so our freebie from the rewards for the what is it like tempest trial or whatever? Oh, it's mail shots. Mail shots. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Okay. This is super cool. We got male and female shots alts. Let's go. Yeah. Dang, shots is like. Killing it in terms of like Avatar. Chris wishes <laughs> they could like get this sort of like love from IS. I have a buddy who loves Shamir, so I'm gonna have to like message him like right away and he's gonna lose his mind. <laughs> yeah. But let's, go Shamir. but let's go ahead and take a look at these skills. 
But yeah. Yeah. I guess everyone's prediction was right. I don't... I can't live out the chaos route, which makes me kind of sad, but it's alright. <laughs> alright. You still there, VA? Yep. Yep. Alright, cool. Um, let's go ahead and read these skills. I'll go ahead and start with Surfer Spire. That's not a lot of text, which is really interesting. Um, enables Cantil Run plus one. Grant speed plus five. Unit attacks twice, even if foe initiates combat. Unit attacks twice. Okay, so you get dual phase brave effect and deals damage equals to twenty percent of units' speed during combat, excluding AOE's. Okay. It's simple. It's got built-in Canto. It's brave and true damage. It's pretty basic and that's yeah. not that right i mean i guess most of the thing that will make her her will probably be in the a skill um she has swift slice which i believe is her preference like, in the legendary version of her yep. and that grants her uh like, all stats plus eight right. mm -hmm. um and if you outspeed by the various amounts you get effective damage against all weapon types it's so, effective against everything, yeah. Right. It's crazy. So she's yeah. going to be a very good unit. Yeah, she definitely will be. I just wonder if she'll be able to get through a lot of the, um, like, like Omni tanks that we have these days, like Lucia, um, Brave Dimitri, because as of right now, she doesn't really have a good way to get through damage reduction. And one of, like, the, one of the reasons why Shez is really good is not only did she have special acceleration, but she can also run, like, lethality to get through that damage reduction. And so, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I do think, um, just based off of this, legendary Shez is probably better, but, like, I don't think... Like, female Shez, summer female Shez is no slouch either. I think she'll be pretty, pretty good as a Cav. It's just, like... How does she compare to Brave Cell, if that's the question? Well, what do you think? I would actually, actually say that she just outright, like, she would do better than Brave Cell, if I'd say, for the most part, right? She's got Brave, she's got True Damage, she's got Swift Slice, that's a massive stat swing, and she's going to be fast. So, she can't necessarily eat through damage reduction, but she can outspeed damage reduction with the right build. And that's going to make all the difference, because then all the damage reduction doesn't matter. Because if you're just faster, it, it, it there's there is no damage reduction then, so it doesn't matter, and she'd be effective against them. So I think she has the potential to be crazy, especially with low speed defense four. Yes. What does low speed defense four do? Let's see. Inflicts speed defense minus X on foe. X being four plus the number of bonus effect effects active on foe max eight. Okay. Um, excludes stat bonuses. And neutralizes foes' bonuses to speed and defense during combat. Yeah, so basically it says, Hey, Brave Krom, sucks to be you. Yeah, but, hmm. Like, th this is not a skill you'd run, like, defensively. So, like, Brave Krom is, like, an offensive unit. So, I don't... Well, I guess this is a way to, like, counter... Sort of counter... Like, a lot of the status effects you mm -hmm. can stack onto your Omni Tank and things like that, which is obviously really nice. Um, but, again, it's it's a, only a max of 8. Like, well, 4 plus and, 8, so that's 12 stat swing. Plus, it excludes foes. Both no, like, like, that's uh, total. Like, total. X is max of 8. Oh. Yeah. No, no, hang on. X equals... Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so like, four plus four, that's eight. And, but it's got the like neutralize exposed, like the typical lull stuff. Right. So it's like a five. It's a potential it, plus five on top of a regular lull, which is right. actually pretty decent. It's decent, but compared to a lot of the effects other tier four B skills have, like special spiral four, like is absolutely insane. Like I do think this will be a good skill, but it's not like you know that massive compared to a lot of the other upgrades we've had, like Guidance mm -hmm. 4 or something like that. like Yeah, like I feel like this would be mainly used in like Summoner's Duels for the most part, against specifically like Brave Krom or like the uh, the two well, Eliwoods that give like um, 
bonus doubler and all that. This would be a well, the, 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 low the speed thing about that is level. that like you don't beat those with low speed defense. Like no one has trouble beating Brave Crom if you like had the team correct and play correctly. Because again, Crom is an offensive unit, and so you're not going to like run low speed defense floor on a tank or anything like that. Um, and the way to and I and I get that. Like, this does, like, help against, like, those legendary Hollywood teams. Mm -hmm. But, one, you don't really see them that much in SDR, just due to the fact that Summer Thor exists. And also, I don't know, I think there's, like, better ways to get past Omni tanks than low speed defense 4. Like, most often it's, just, like, panic, damage reduction, or anything like that. So, I don't know. I, I do think this skill is good, but it's not really that massive, at least mm -hmm. from what I've seen. It's a it's a nice improvement, but it's not like completely game changing, like right. the guide for everything else, yeah. Or guard bearing for, or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I guess it's interesting. I would have preferred like I don't know, physical no follow up and magical no follow up were really good. So I was hoping that lol could be yeah, something like, good too. Following right after those, it doesn't look as good. Yeah. <laughs> Ephraim, I All right. It. Rip, I'm no so happy good. though. Like, I guess there wasn't okay. <laughs> too much of a chance I, for I, that. I got Ephraim. That's fine. So yeah, he has extra movement somehow. Yeah. So like, now, I'm is excited. he going to be. Yeah, why don't you go ahead and read for us uh, Seafoam Splitter? So Seafoam Splitter is basically, it's got slang, which is always fun. At this mm -hmm. point, if you don't have slang, you got like an extra stats, but let's face facts, slang's better. <laughs> uh, start up here, and if number of allies adjacent to unit is less than or equal to two, grants unit can move an extra space to unit. That's where the extra okay. movement comes from. That turn only does not stack, of course. At start of combat, if unit ASP is greater than 25%, he gets attack defense minus six on foe. He gets spe uh, special ramp, and reduces damage from foe's first attack by 40%. So not bad. It's got some stuff in there. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's interesting. Course, uh, okay, okay yeah, go ahead. It's, Sorry. It's not a bad weapon, actually. It's interesting. Um, He's got attack defense clash in there. So I'm he, everything he has is defense. So I'm guessing his speed's not going to be great. Probably not, which is very concerning right now. Because he doesn't have a guaranteed <laughs> follow-up. Where's the guaranteed yeah. follow-up? Yeah, uh, maybe it's in Sunlight Bangle. Why don't you go ahead and read that for us? Uh, okay. If number of allies adjacent to units less than or equal to one. Inflicts attack defense minus X on foe during combat. X equal X. Wait, X minus X equals minus four. Uh, wait, X minus four plus number X of equals from X equals four plus number of spaces from start position to end position of whoever initiated combat max eight. Unit attacks twice, so he gets brave as well. Okay. And when unit deals damage to foe during combat. 7 HP. If unit initiates combat, foe can counterattack before unit's first attack? Wait, what? Wait, this is like legendary cell of type stuff. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. Right? If unit initiates combat, foe can counterattack before unit's wait. Why? Why are they giving why why am I giving the enemy advantage? Am I missing something? Like like actually what what benefit is there? Like are they trying to make sure bonfire procs? first but like you have brave and so like and yeah and slang so bonfire would and get procced on the you know the brave hit anyway so it's not he, like you need get, that foe to counter attack from you what brave slang and special ramp he's gonna hit bonfire why is yeah like, unless like this is bad. i mean I unless like, like they I run guard or something but like Wait, I'm so confused. <laughs> what is this? Are we reading this correctly? This has to be like well, a mistypo or something. If, if he's attacking into a unit who could one-shot him, then I guess he just dies. Yeah. Uh, well, he does have damage reduction, though. He does have damage reduction, but like, why? Well, like, speed is trash. Like, he doesn't stop guaranteed follow-ups. Like, you'd rather not take damage if you can just one-shot them. What is this unit? I don't understand. <laughs> there has to be something we're missing here. Because I was like, like, you know, when I was reading the weapon, I was like, you know, this is okay. Um, not being speedy is looking kind of sus, but, you know, it's all right. 
And I was like, oh, you get brave. That can be very good. You get healing. That's really good. But then, like, what is this? What? I'm so confused. Like, what oh, scenario? Oh, hang on. Hang are, on. Okay, are you, are you getting us the goods? Getting I, us the deets? I, I'm starting to understand the... So, it's not quite like uh, Legendary Seleph, but I think it's something very similar. So the enemies, you're gonna you're gonna initiate. The enemy's gonna hit you first. Bonfire will go down to zero, I think, mm -hmm. and then you retaliate with bonfire. Yeah, and then because you brave, you get to strike again after that. So right. You do have to survive first the one shot from the enemy, but you have forty percent damage reduction, so that they're hoping that balances that out. Right. So I I think as like you should be able to survive the first hit and then basically insta kill anyone. Yeah, I think that's uh, the goal. This it's just that, still very weird that we're giving the enemy advantage, <laughs> right? And but here's the thing, right? Like, yeah, you can get bonfire on the first hit of that brave attack, but you have brave. You can have bonfire proc on the second hit because if you yeah. didn't ha give the foe advantage, um, what would happen is bonfire will be at two. You attack once, that'll get it down to zero, and then you have the bonfire proc on the second hit. And in general, having the special on the second hit is better because. For most types of damage reductions, they have the damage reduction on the first attack. And so, yeah, it's just so weird. He he does get attack. He is inflicting, like, attack minus 14 on the bow, too. Right. So when he's but initiated, like, he's max range. Yeah. But, like, still, like, wh what is this effect? I'm s okay, there has to be something we're missing. I'm just going to assume we're missing something very obvious that I'm currently not uh, thinking of right now because... I'm just going to have like a mental lapse at this point in time. I'm just going to assume that for the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> uh, leave, let us know in the comments if I'm missing something because right now I'm just super confused by this. <laughs> it it's a really weird, like it's a, this is a very weird unit. It's cool, it's interesting, but like, eh. yeah. <laughs> I don't That's think we need to go. Yeah, I don't think we need to go over Alarm. We know what they're going to do. Wherever and yeah, that's what we saw. I guess Ephraim was initiating, yeah? That makes sense. Except mm -hmm. it doesn't. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just so confused by that. So I'm, I'm going let's, to move on to, let's move on to Lara Shell. Like, <laughs> Alright, we'll, I'll try, I'll try. Emote, she looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, um... Earth, Wind, Bomb, Plus. We didn't have Earth, Wind, Bomb, Plus before? I thought we did. I guess no, we did. The, the exclamation mark, it's brand new. Huh. Okay, that's I guess weird. that's the thing now. Um, no one's going to use it, though, it so matter, whatever. But... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, what does Seaside Parasol do? Astar return inflicts guard on nearest foes within five spaces of unit, and foes within two spaces of those foes equip with a skill that can okay why are they the specifying can. skills that can trigger savior effect like it was not good on fallen crom it's not good here like stop it okay we have skills that can splash already we don't need to have restrictions on that but okay whatever um at start of combat if units hp is greater than or equal to 25 percent grants attack speed plus five to unit inflicts res minus x on foe during combat x being the number of bonuses and penalties of Effects active on foe times four, max 16. Excludes stat bonuses and stat penalties. Okay. Interesting. This, this, is a, this is a banner that's like out to make you angry or confuse you. <laughs> it's just, yeah. <laughs> like, like, you're looking at it, you see the splashing on save skill users and you're like, why? Yeah. Just like, okay, like Yoon doesn't specify that her debuffs only splashes on saviors. It specifies just units within two spaces. Like, there's no reason why guard cannot be splashed onto like the nearest unit within five spaces and then foes within those two spaces like it makes literally no mm -hmm. sense like we okay i i i'm actually like <laughs> getting so confused by i like i'm already confused we haven't had an engage banner like hopefully we get summer engage on the next summer banner um but like oh my goodness okay uh, all of that aside I, this is obviously geared towards besides the guard um being kind of a more offensive stat staff as well you get a lot of attack and speed you get a bunch of um a bunch of like uh res deflections um so i guess it's a decent staff but nothing really too special honestly and it's not a preferred staff either so she's not getting the cr the clawed treatment where like hey preferred yep. weapon at least it'll be good <laughs> so, yeah rip 
Yeah, I'm sad. I really like Lara Shell, but will I build this unit? No. <laughs> I won't yeah. even pull on her color. Yeah, special demotes are a trap, okay? Ask Oblivion. <laughs> All so, right. This is going to make my friend just, like, have a heart attack, I swear. <laughs> I saw a post, like, speculating dual Shamir and Catherine, and... Yeah, it's it happened. Isn't this nice? Interesting they chose Casper and Leon. Oh. All right. Uh, can you read that text? If you can't, I can read it for you. <laughs> for, for I should be able to. Yeah. Okay. Well, why don't you go ahead and read partnership bow, please? So I see that's got slang. It's got the typical bow stuff. A start of turn inflicts. What is that word? Discord. I've never heard of that. That is new. It is new. We're going to have to take a look at that. <laughs> so we're inflicting an app and panic <laughs> on your foes within five spaces? Uh, five spaces of the units. And, and foes, foes within, within two, two spaces. Foes. See? Okay. No savior okay. condition. No savior condition. <laughs> Thank you. This is what the everything else should be. Yes. <laughs> uh, if unit HP is greater than or equal to 25%, of course, plus spectrum plus five. Mm -hmm. Inflects speed defense minus X on foe during combat, where X equals number of bonus and penalty effects active on foe times four, max 16? 16, yeah. Holy! Times okay. four. So, speed yeah. Speed defense minus 16 potentially is crazy. Potentially. If the foe has, like... and foe has, like... Obviously, this doesn't include um, stat bonuses, it doesn't seem like, mm -hmm. or stat penalties. So, it, you have to make sure your foe is stacking those effects. Yeah. Exclude stat, bonuses, and penalties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, if any bonus or penalties active on foe neutralizes... Oh, neutralizes guard. Cool. And effects that prevent units follow-up attacks during combat. So, so you get also NFU. Offensive yeah. follow-up? Offensive NFU, yes. Yeah. So okay, let's check out the um, app we're talking on. Yes. <laughs> the app we're talking on inflicts attack speed defense res minus X on unit during combat. X equals two plus number of allies within two spaces of unit max five through its next action. Oh, okay. So it's just so it's just like stat. stat. Yeah, it's just stat debuffs. Uh, I was I was hoping for something like exposure or like something cool, but this is just stats. I mean, stats are stats are cool, um, but obviously, like it doesn't like have that wow factor. But yeah, overall, this is really interesting. Huh. I mean, it's a duo, and this is not a bad duo. It's been a while since we had a bow duo, so I'm, I'm happy about this. And, like, so she's got Deadeye, Remote Sparrow, Fiddle right. Smoke, we already know what that does. Why don't you read Brash Assault <laughs> 4? I'll go ahead and read Brash Assault 4, yeah. Um, at Star Combat, if unit's HP is less than or equal to 99%, okay, I hate the change they made where they now specify like 99%, why not make eight units HP less than 100%? Like, come on. Okay. And <laughs> unit initiates combat, or if both HP is equal to 100% and unit initiates combat, inflicts defense res minus four on foe, reduces damage from foe's first attack by 30%, unit makes a guaranteed follow-up attack, Ooh. and unit's next attack deals damage equal to the total damage reduced. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Wait, that sounds a lot like, um... Doesn't that sound like legendary Corrin, like legendary female Corrin? Like, um, yeah, it's like oh. Negating Fang, except yeah. it, it's more like a like vengeance or something, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, no, what was, what was that one unit? Nyx, I think? That has yeah, like the. Like yeah, I think it's, it's Nyx. Damage reduction 30%, reduces the. increases damage based on the amount of damage dealt or reduced. So, yeah, that's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool B slot. Yeah, like, so like, like previously, damage. Brash Assault um, just gives you a guaranteed follow-up attack, which is terrible. So, oh, like, so this is like 100% of an improvement. Yeah, this is a huge improvement. Now, I don't think this is as good as like a lot of the Tier 4 B skills we've had. Um, honestly, I mean, 30% damage reduction is nice, but I think for most cases... Um, if you're in infantry, you would rather run like close call four or something like that. But obviously, for units that can't run those damage reduction skills, if you need damage reduction, this is going to be really nice, um, especially for um, like families of like movement types that don't really have that good B access skills like range flyers or 
ranged cavalry units, for example. Mm-hmm. This could be helpful. Although I think in most cases, you probably want either Trace, Lol. Is that all they have? <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. Although, to be fair, now you can run like, I think you can, now you can do like Alarm in the C slot to get your Kanto. And then you can run Brash Assault in B. And that's not a bad combination. Yeah, um, it's just that uh, um, ranged units cannot run Alarm. Unfortunately. Oh my god, they keep messing over ranged units. <laughs> yeah, so rip that idea. <laughs> don't listen to me. I don't know but, what I'm talking about. But apparently. like this is still decent. Um I don't think it's the best for range like ranged flyers or ranged cavalry units. Because Brash Assault theoretically could be inherited by anyone. But let's be real, most of those weapon types or movement types have like way better t- like B skill options. And even among like the limited ones, like range flyers and range calves, like I don't think you would run this over. I mean, I guess you might if like you already have Kanto or something. But again, yeah, like for those with built-in Kanto, this would be like a really good option for them. But that's pretty yeah. much about it. Unironically, I think like the new tier four lol skills would probably be better. <laughs> but oh wow, um, yeah. I mean, again, this is definitely a very good upgrade. It's, just, mm. it's probably not going to have find much use outside of those like very specific weapon or movement types. Yeah. But yeah. As a unit yeah. of, I mean, I guess. Hold on. We haven't seen the dual skill yet. Let's let's look at that before we give our overall opinions on this unit. Well, I think it was like guard and something this else. I can't remember now. It was guard and feud, I believe. Or yeah, guard gravity and feud or feud. Okay, gravity. Yeah, inflicts gravity on foes in cardinal directions of unit. So, same thing as Summer Thor. And feud on foes within five columns or five units. So, this, like, just hmm. negate Maria, and now you can run a unit that can do that at all times, whenever you want. Cool. I, yeah. But, <laughs> like, outside of Maria, like, what does this stop? Like, really? Honestly, feud has never actually been truly important until Maria. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like, quite literally, when I first saw the feud skills way, way back, I'm like, cool, I don't care. This is, changes nothing. Yeah. Because I just at ball and I kill. Well, right. Now Maria exists. You can't do that anymore. Because well, now like, we have ways to get Maria, so it's back to normal. Yeah. Like, feud, I don't think, is that good on S, that relevant on in SD. Like, just putting that out there. The gravity could be nice, but it's only in cardinal directions. Feud mm-hmm. is pretty much useless because like the only like archetypes you would like quote unquote counter with feud would be like Omni Tanks. Like Omni Tank teams. And most of those use stat buffs with legendary Elliewood, not like drives. Yeah, exactly. So you can't and like you can't use this on ARD, obviously. And besides we had Embla there as well. And you really can't use this in ARO either because, you know, dual hindrance is a thing. Yeah. And, like, most defenses don't really mind feud anyways. So this dual skill is super weird. (laughs) Like, I feel like this would be best used literally just, like, summoner's duels, that's it. And even then, not Mm -hmm. necessarily summoner duels are, because I don't know about the summoner duel are meta because that, like, I don't know, I don't think people are running Murray at all. I mean, but, the problem with Maria is that so far, all the SD seasons we've had are terrible for her because of Secret Maneuver. So we don't actually know no, how good we, she we, is yet. She, she hasn't been at her peak yet. So maybe right. she this might find use in SDR and SDS. But for SDS, you could just ban Maria. Problem solved. Yeah. So like, and like SDR is super competitive. And so we'll have to see if this finds use. But, you know, it could. But overall, you can also just run a, fe- a colorless feed in the C slot, and it does the same thing. Right. <laughs> that, <laughs> so, like, that's true. I don't. I don't think this is going to be a very used also, unit. Also, we're in Flash of Steel season coming up, and like, if you and the, if you can like get down, and that like sort of gives Maria trouble because if you can like normally one shot the opponent, like you reduce them down to one Flash of Steel, you get them again, and then you can get through the miracle, and so. Mm. This is true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so it works against Maria, but maybe 1% time that you do not ban her and that she does not get destroyed by captain skills. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, again, this is total. How good this is, it's totally dependent on how prevalent 
Fallen Maria will be. And right now, we just do not know if Fallen Maria will be that prevalent, just due to circumstances beyond her control. Who knows? Maybe Fallen Maria will be super, super prevalent, and therefore this dual skill will find a lot of use. And maybe it won't. We don't know. We'll have to wait and see on that. But overall, mm. as a unit, like, I think They're this okay. will be a... Yeah, I think this will be a great unit. I definitely don't think it'll be like Hinoka or Shez tier good unit, though. Yeah, they're going to be better like range nukes for sure. Yeah. And then like, yeah, this is this isn't bad, but it's not even like even compared to other duos because I'm like, I'm a dual harmonized guy. Even right. I'm like, my unit ever? Maybe not. <laughs> it's like it's not like game changing like the tiki's being dragons or it's not as crazy as like duo duo asker and emblem mm-hmm. or like any of them this is like this is okay yeah this but, is like, okay i would use i would use 20 other duo harmonized units over this right so yeah i mean again you can definitely make this unit work in something like summoner's duels it'll work really well um but definitely not like top top meta or anything like that at least i don't think again mm. we don't have the unit in the game yet so i could be totally wrong but that's just our impressions right now honestly this entire banner confuses me <laughs> yeah i don't know what this banner even is you know what it is it's not engaged i know don't worry <laughs> Confused. Don't worry, Three Houses' first summer banner was on the second one, so that's surely what's going to happen this time, right? Mm, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> Again, I'm so torn. I love that Ephraim got an ult, but I'm also confused by the ult. <laughs> <laughs> Same! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, so- yes, Ephraim, and what is this? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, why don't you get- what's your overall thoughts on this banner? I don't even know if there's anything, like, super, super, like, try-hard pull-worthy here. Like, it's a solid banner. Like, I'm gonna have to pull on it because Duo Harmonize, I have them all. I have to keep that going. But if I didn't have to keep that going, I might act... I would, like... Yeah, I would actually possibly skip on this banner. This, there's no new skills that really stand out to me that are inheritable. There's no... Right. There's just... Eh, it's just not fantastic. It's okay. If you're a fan of the characters definitely go for it but if you're looking for like meta type stuff i don't think any of these units will be meta maybe maybe there's gonna be something funny with Ephraim if we're missing something <laughs> or maybe duo shamir but it doesn't look like it yeah like this is this isn't great yeah it's not bad but yeah like all like okay outside of laura shell like all these units are probably going to be very good right like shez has effective against everything brave which is really nice like Ephraim has Brave, despite it being super weird, which I'm still confused by. And then, you know, uh, Shamir is, you know, a dual skill, very powerful nuke. You can definitely make her work very well. But I agree. I don't think this is really, like, meta-shifting that much. The yeah. only one I think can be meta-shifting is either Shez, due to the potential nuking power of a Brave effective hit can do. Um, Jury's still on, out there. On that, though, she doesn't have, like, extra movement or anything like that, so it will remain to be seen if she can compete with Brave Salif. Um, And then, obviously, like, Shamir being a duel, there's always that potential in SD because duels are very important with the buttons and all that sort of stuff. But I'm also, like... like There's better duo buttons. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Like, okay, I'm just... Yeah, I'm personally going to be skipping as well. I don't think this is a must-pull banner by any means. Far from no. it. Like, personally, I thought Bridal Tiki was a lot more standout than any of these oh, units. 100%. Bridal Tiki is actually crazy. Like, yeah. I guess the best way I could phrase it for this banner specifically is it's not, like, meta-breaking, but I can see situations mm-hmm. where maybe there's something in the future. This is a good potential banner. Right. They, like, uh, the F3 might have potential with something crazy in the future, but, like, as it sits right now, all these units could be potentially good, but they're not, like, game-changing, like... Right. Legendary Robin or Harmonized Tiki or anything like that, so... Right. Yeah. Like, yeah, don't get us wrong. Like, these are definitely very powerful units. It's just that you don't need a pull for them if you don't want to, which I think is always <laughs> good, right? <laughs> I was gonna say, like, they're very powerful units. We just don't know how they work. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, we don't understand a lot of things about IS, but yeah. I guess we'll just have it to live with that. Like... Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, BA, for joining me on this reaction. These are always super fun to do. I was happy to be here, buddy. Yeah, o always have a blast. And yeah, if you did enjoy, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, not only to my channel, but to BA Radiant Dawn's channel as well. The link to that will be in the description down below. Let us know down in the comments what your favorite unit here is and what you're most excited for. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and see you all next time. Bye, everyone. See ya.